Hey guys, what's up? I'm Justin. I'm here with Richard. And guys, we are doing a quick recap. This will be most likely a weekly recap on 30 teams, like a 30 teams 30 days thing. But it's not gonna be 30 teams 30 days. It's be all in one video. And so far, the season's doing pretty well. And we're here to give you um, how well the teams are doing so far. We're gonna go by standings and all this stuff like that. Um, so before we get to the video, Richard, what's going on, my man? Not too much. Not too much. Alright, so, um, let's get this video off rolling. So, let's start off with the Anaheim Angels, my fa one of my favorite teams. Richard, how well are the Angels doing? Uh, well, right now, they're 7-5, and, and they're riding a two-game win streak. Um, they just recently won their, they recently won their game against the White Sox, 7-4, that was, uh, today. Um, yeah, today. No, it was, they played Cleveland, sorry. Um, they won 4-3. Um, 4-2 at home, 3-3 three three on the road. Looking looking pretty good. Yeah. Um, Angels are doing pretty well. They have Ibar on the 15-day DL. Uh, Vernon Wells not really pulling through, but I still think the Angels are are going to be pretty nice about where they're standing right now. Uh, Texas at 9-3, and three, uh, the two-game lead over the Angels. Their Angels are in second place. Oakland in third, and Seattle in fifth. Awesome. Going to, on to the Arizona Diamondbacks. This team right now is at, a, I think, as of right now, a 5-5 five and five record out of 500 schedule. Richard, will the Diamondbacks uh, improve anything? Uh, we'll catch your eye this year. Uh, yeah, they're not going to be as bad as everyone thinks. Uh... Diamondbacks got some nice young pitching in Daniel Hudson and Ian Kennedy. They also got like, Justin Upton, Stephen Drew, Chris Young. Um, they don't, you know, they're not completely awful. Uh, they're definitely by no means a playoff caliber team, but they're gonna, they're gonna, gonna be a pesky team to play against. Yeah, I really have to agree with that. Um, watching the Diamondbacks a, a, a lot. I mean, a lot. I'm um, going to their games a lot lately since my dad cooks for the team, so I go to a lot of the games. So um, I think the Diamondbacks are going to be a, a pretty decent team this season. I mean, they just rebuild, rebuild, no more Chris Snyder. Um, they don't have that team anymore, so it's a complete different team from last year. <laughs> On to the Cleveland Indians. This team is just coming out of nowhere. Richard, tell us about this Cleveland Indian squad real quick. Well, they're 8-4 they're right now. Uh, yeah, they're in for right now. Uh, you know, up until uh, there, I think they had a. I don't know what their win streak was. I think it was. Uh, I can't remember. But they had a really big win streak. Travis Hatton was swinging the bat well, which Cleveland needs really. Uh, Carlos Santana's playing a good catching position. Teams are doing pretty good right now. Uh, you know, uh, they're gonna, they're not, they're like, uh, they're like the Diamondbacks a little bit. They're not by any means in the contender for the playoff spot. They're gonna be pesky. They got to get some scrappy wins. I think that this is a pretty decent team, but I, I believe that they might have a fire sale come the trade deadline, get trading Carmona and probably Masterson and more. Yeah, that could possibly happen. Maybe, maybe not, but. Uh, I don't think Fossil is going to go anywhere, so that's just my opinion. On to Minnesota Twins. This team, pretty decent so far, not raising my eyebrows any, uh, that much anymore. They are in last place, not that decent. Um, it's pretty early in the season. Richard, will the, this team bounce back? Yeah, they'll bounce back. Uh, they're not like pick the one in the central. Um, but, you know, this is a team that's kind of like the Rays a little bit as far as the whole bullpen thing goes. They've lost a lot of their bullpen, losing Jesse Crane and Matt Guerrero. Uh, they lost Brian Fuentes. Uh, and they're waiting for Joe Nathan to get, you know, back into his form. Uh, yeah, they'll bounce back. Man. I think they're definitely locked for 80 to 85 wins. Uh, they're a good ball club led by Morneau and Bauer. Yeah. Um, on to the Dodgers. Uh, I actually, they're winning. The, oh, they're in second place right now at a 6-5 and five record. The Diamondbacks are three games back from first base. The Dodgers are in two. And the Colorado Rockies are on fire at 8-2. and two. Who will win this division, Colorado or the Dodgers? This game is really I think close. That, I, uh, I think that Colorado's going to win this division. 
Uh, the rotation isn't exactly stacked. I mean, they do have a ball, though. Um, but uh, Jorge De La Rosa is going to step up big for them. Uh, they have Tulo and Cargo. Uh, you know, they got a nice, they got a nice core outfield there. With they have Dexter Fowler as well. Uh, Todd Halliburton, uh, he's always been a good first baseman. He's not put up the numbers that he used to back in the day, but still solid. I like this team. Yeah. Um. Just to make this video quick. Um. Uh... Well, we'll leave you guys with some open answers, so uh, we're trying to get all 30, 30 teams in one video, so. On to the White Sox. I can't really say much about this team. They're in third place with the game back in first. Uh, Richard, will this team win the division this year? Uh, in my opinion, yeah. I, I think that they will. They have a lot of firepower with Dunn, Canerco, Alexi. Uh, you know, they have a rookie, Brent Moore, coming up. Yeah, I just think that this team has the firepower. Uh, if JP can come back healthy, I think he'll help the staff out a lot. Matt Thornton's struggling though, and they gotta get they gotta get this guy worked out or something because that's what's really that's really what's hurting him right now is Matt Thornton. He's blown three saves, as many in I think four opportunities. So if they can get him on track, this would be a really good team. Yeah, um, on to the other team, Chicago Cubs. Uh, this team, though, I'm not really following the Cubs this year so far. Um, Richard, what, how, what's going on with the Cubs right now? Uh, well, the Cubs, the Cubs aren't doing uh, all that bad. Uh, what are they? Uh, they're third place, six and six. Uh, I just need to, I think they need to get timely hits, and that's always been a problem. Uh, they signed Alfonso Soriano, who's kind of been a boss for them, which is kind of unfortunate if you think of. Uh, Alfonso Soriano, and, uh, when, uh, when he played for the Yankees in Texas, he was one of the best players in the bigs. Um, they have Ramos come back from a down year, they need him to bounce back. They have Matt Garza, which has been terrific for him. Um, so their pitching needs to step up a little bit, and uh, I think the Cubs are asleep on the central. Yeah. Um, going on to the Texas Rangers, no more Josh Hamilton as we uh, covered yesterday with a lot of views on that video. Um, Richard, is this team going to win that division this year, and how well are they doing so far? Uh, yeah, I definitely really think they can win the division. I still like Oakland a lot, uh, and I like the Angels too. Uh, it's, a, it's a division where there's, it's going to be it's going to be a uh, tough tough battle for the division title. Um, I think they have the keys to uh, losing Matt uh, Hamilton hurts a little bit, but not as much. Um, if their pitching can step up because looking at their rotation on paper it's kind of ooh, but they've been doing good so far um they can they can stay healthy and uh get everybody back i think this is a club to reckon with yeah um on to the kansas city royals it's one of one of great surprising team right now they're in second place they're pretty much they're uh, half a game back from first i mean cleveland and kansas city are just neck and neck right now Richard, if they're supposed to be a last place team, who would have win the division? The Indians or would it be the Kansas City Royals? If it was the last place well, team to win the division. If to, to fight for the last place? Yeah, first place. Oh, for first place. Uh, I would say that uh, I go Kansas City over Cleveland if that was the case. Because Kansas City has like so many good prospects. I think like the top seven of them could be in the majors right now. John Lamb, Mike Montgomery, uh, you know, uh, Mike Wostock is Eric Hosmer, just a ton of guys who can contribute to a big league club. And uh, I, I, like the, I like the Royals in the next couple of years. Yeah. What players are catching your eye so far in this organization? Uh, Jeff Francis, uh, no doubt, no doubt. Um, he's, uh, you know, he was really good with the Rockies, had some injury trouble, never bounced back. Kansas City picked him up, and he's just dazzling. You know, um, that's I like to see that at Francis, and if they can, if he can stay healthy for them and prove them to him that he can be a legitimate ace, these guys found a legitimate ace, and uh, I think that I think that Kansas City would be smart if he puts up a good year to uh, extend him for a couple of years. Yeah, um, on to another a uh, couple other teams before we're gonna make a part two in this video. Um, let's kick it off with the Atlanta Braves. Richard, I am really liking the Braves right now. 
pretty decent team so far. They're in, maybe they're in fourth place right now. That's still it's still early in the season. They're right behind the Washington Nationals. Then you got the Florida Marlins and you have the dominating Phillies. Um, Jair Jurgens is going to be making a debut this week. Is Jair going to be the same Jair that we saw a few years ago when he had actually was actually pretty good, or was he, is he going to be a couple starts and then another injury? too much. Really good a couple of years ago, but I just think that this guy is a mediocre fifth starter. Uh, I think that the Braves have a lot of better internal options, uh, like Mike Miner, uh, Julio Torreon, um, eventually, maybe next year. Uh, I think Jared's pretty good trade bait. I think that a team like the Nationals, a team like that, who is willing to risk um, contracts for instance, they signed Shimmy Wong. Uh, I think he'd be a good fit over there. Uh, but I don't like Jair a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, Jair was one of my actual favorite players. Well, not one of my favorite favorite players, but a player I, I used to, I like to watch. So, I hope he has a great start this week against the Mets. And I hope he just comes back and be in the old Jair. Before, and to wrap up part one of this video, the Colorado Rockies. Richard, tell us about this phenomenal team right now. Uh, well, we actually already covered the Rockies, but uh, like I said, great team, bunch of youth, pitching, rotation, has to step up a little bit more. Uh, they got a guy, number five, Espio Rogers from minor leagues, who I think will be pretty good for them, hopefully. And uh, I like their chances to win the West. Yeah, I like their chances to win the West, too. Cargo. How well do you know how well he's doing right now? Uh, I was on my head, but it is cargo. So even if he's having a slow start uh, right now, uh, he'll pick it up. He's a, he's a lock for 20, 20 35 homers, you know, 25 plus stolen bases. He's a legitimate 5 2 player. Yeah. And uh, got a quick question. Everybody's saying that he's potential MVP this year. Is that going to be, is this going to be an MVP season for cargo? I think he'll put up MVP numbers, I don't think he'll be an MVP because uh, Ivato and Pools and Prince Fielder are all in the same, uh, I guess you could call it the, the league, they're all in the National League together. And uh, so even his teammate Troy Tulowitzki, Henry Ramirez, you know, the list goes on. Even Boy Halliday could be an MVP candidate. Uh, I don't. I think it'll be MVP numbers, but I don't think he'll be um, the National League MVP this year. Well, all right. Um, stay tuned for part two of the recap of all the teams so far in the season. We'll talk to you guys soon and enjoy some baseball.